I'm Troy Kirby with my Edmonds News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. The House Appropriations Committee heard several bills, including Substitute House Bill 1156, which creates ranked choice voting local options. Our serious concerns cannot be conveyed in the time allotted, so I'll just try to give you a flavor. As suggested in the original fiscal note, this proposal may be quite expensive. Exactly how expensive? Based on the com persistent complexity with an unhealthy dose of uncertainty, it's anyone's guess and no amount of money may alleviate our concerns or reassure skeptical voters. Strictly from an election perspective, the real cost is in diminished voter confidence, a currency val more valuable than dollars. House Bill 1156 encourages new, entirely new methods to be adopted in an unknown number of jurisdictions from school board members, city council members, port districts, and the like. Um, and these uh, <clears throat> are unpredictably spread throughout the state, sometimes in overlapping counties. It encourages three new voting and tabulation methods, which could vary among districts. Those are instant runoff, ranked choice, and a single transferable vote method directing auditors to simulate a series of elections. There are 1,086 eligible jurisdictions, so the number of possible permutations seems nearly infinite. Considering the potential number of variations, you may share our concern regarding voter confusion. As proposed, and each of the governing bodies and jurisdictions could choose a new and slightly different method for casting ballots and a new and slightly different algorithm to determine the outcome of the election. And all of this is to be presented on one ballot. As we have seen recently, our democracy is fragile and the risks and costs associated with this proposal are difficult to overestimate. I have waited on this Zoom call for five hours as a private citizen to tell you that ranked choice voting is necessary for the restoration of citizen trust in democracy, which I believe to be the value at issue here, which is, more easy, uh, which is not as easily solved as other issues that are being brought up like old voting machines and designing ballots comprehensively. Your fiscal note estimates the eight point, up to 8.2 million for the Secretary of State, and it completely leaves out any costs and estimate of costs for the counties. There are costs of acquiring new machines. Currently, I don't believe any of the machines in the counties are prepared for ranked choice voting. They will have to upgrade or buy new machines. Cost to print, cost to mail, staffing costs went to 24 hour shifts. So there's increased labor costs. If you have an audit, it's gonna be increased labor costs because they will have to manually count, not machine count the ballots. I'm speaking to ask you to support the local options bill for ranked choice voting. I can't speak about the expensiveness of it. I'm going to leave that in your hands. I would feel so much better represented as a voter if I could express my preferences in order of their importance to make. By clarifying that I may have registered as con on this bill by accident, um, I'm actually 100% pro this bill and my statement will reflect that. Um, tomorrow is my 30th birthday. I was born in 1991, and in that time, there have been seven presidential elections. And of those seven presidential elections, three, nearly half, gave the presidency to a candidate who failed to get a majority vote. The last time that happened was in 2016, and that president's term ended with a deadly assault on the U.S. Capitol building. I rise in supporting uh, House Bill 1156. I hope you'll join me. Ranked choice voting is something that we're seeing happen in localities all across the nation from one coast to the other. Um, this is, uh, again, an opt-in, um, and we're really hoping that much like other legislation that we've passed um, as a state, uh, when it comes to same-day registration or more ballot boxes, the Voting Rights Act, this is just another one of those uh, laws that we know will help continue to uh, provide more access to democracy. I'm going to be voting no today. I certainly hope that if Washington State uh, goes down the ranked choice voting path, uh, it works out as well as proponents argue it will. Um, but while I technically live in King County, if I peer out the right side of my window, I can see Pierce County. Uh, and uh, until a couple of years ago, I lived on the Pierce County side of my district, uh, including back in 2008 when Pierce County tried ranked choice voting. And I don't think we were terribly happy with how it turned out. Uh, we had a really high profile race for county executive that was not decided 
uh, until mid-December, and that's not because the vote count was terribly close. It wasn't like there were three or four recounts. It was just uh, took three or four rounds of uh, narrowing uh, the, the field, winnowing the field, and it, that, that took time for the county auditor to to process and to tabulate those results. And the committee passed the bill 2211, moving the bill onto the House floor for consideration. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by My Edmonds News, covering the 2021 legislative session.